Naples has been inhabited since the Neolithic period. The earliest Greek settlements were established in the Naples area in the 2nd millennium BC. Sailors from the Greek island of Rhodes established a small commercial port called Parthenope on the island of Megaride in the 9th century BC. By the 8th century BC, the settlement had expanded to include Monte Achaea. In the 6th century BC the city was refounded as Neapolis, eventually becoming one of the foremost cities of Magna Graecia. The city grew rapidly due to the influence of the powerful Greek city-state of Syracuse, and became an ally of the Roman Republic against Carthage. During the Samnite Wars, the city, now a bustling center of trade, was captured by the Samnites, however, the Romans soon captured the city from them and made it a Roman colony. During the Punic Wars, the strong walls surrounding Neapolis repelled the invading forces of the Carthaginian general Hannibal. Naples was greatly respected by the Romans as a paragon of Hellenistic culture. During the Roman era, the people of Naples maintained their Greek language and customs, while the city was expanded with elegant Roman villas, aqueducts, and public baths. Landmarks such as the Temple of Dioscures were built, and many emperors chose to holiday in the city, including Claudius and Tiberius. Virgil, the author of Rome's national epic, the Aeneid, received part of his education in the city, and later resided in its environs. It was during this period that Christianity first arrived in Naples, the apostles Peter and Paul are said to have preached in the city. Januarius, who would become Naples' patron saint, was martyred there in the 4th century AD. The last emperor of the Western Roman Empire, Romulus Augustulus, was exiled to Naples by the Germanic king Odoacer in the 5th century AD. Following the decline of the Western Roman Empire, Naples was captured by the Ostrogoths, a Germanic people, and incorporated into the Ostrogothic kingdom. However, Belisarius of the Byzantine Empire recaptured Naples in 536, after entering the city via an aqueduct. In 543, during the Gothic Wars, Titila briefly took the city for the Ostrogoths, but the Byzantines seized control of the area following the Battle of Mons Lactarius on the slopes of Vesuvius. Naples was expected to keep in contact with the Exarchate of Ravenna, which was the center of Byzantine power on the Italian peninsula. After the Exarchate fell, a duchy of Naples was created. Although Naples' Greco-Roman culture endured, it eventually switched allegiance from Constantinople to Rome under Duke Stephen II, putting it under papal suzerainty by 763. The years between 818 and 832 were tumultuous in regard to Naples' relations with the Byzantine emperor, with numerous local pretenders feuding for possession of the ducal throne. Theoctistus was appointed without imperial approval, his appointment was later revoked and Theodore II took his place. However, the disgruntled general populace chased him from the city, and instead elected Stephen III, a man who minted coins with his own initials, rather than those of the Byzantine emperor. Naples gained complete independence by the early 9th century. Naples allied with the Muslim Saracens in 836, and asked for their support to repel the siege of Lombard troops coming from the neighboring duchy of Benevento. However, during the 850s, Muhammad I Abu al Abbas led the Arab Muslim conquest of the city, and managed to sack it and take huge amount of its wealth. The duchy was under the direct control of the Lombards for a brief period, after the capture by Pandulf IV of the Principality of Capua, a long-term rival of Naples. However, this regime lasted only three years before the Greco-Roman influence dukes were reinstated. By the 11th century Naples had begun to employ Norman mercenaries to battle their rivals, Duke Sergius IV hired Ranulf Drangit to wage war on Capua for him. By 1137, the Normans had attained great influence in Italy, controlling previously independent principalities and duchies such as Capua, Benevento, Salerno, Amalfi, Sorrento and Gaeta. It was in this year that Naples, the last independent duchy in the southern part of the peninsula, came under Norman control. The last ruling duke of the duchy, Sergius VII, was forced to surrender to Roger II, who had proclaimed himself king of Sicily seven years earlier. Naples thus joined the kingdom of Sicily, with Palermo as the capital. The University of Naples, the first university in Europe dedicated to training secular administrators, was founded by Frederick II, making Naples the intellectual center of the kingdom. Many examples of Gothic architecture sprang up around Naples, including the Naples Cathedral, which remains the city's main church. The Angevin Kingdom of Naples included the southern part of the Italian peninsula, while the island of Sicily became the Aragonese Kingdom of Sicily. Wars between the competing dynasties continued until the Peace of Caltabellata in 1302, which saw Frederick III recognized as King of Sicily, while Charles II was recognized as King of Naples by Pope Boniface VIII. In 1442, Alfonso I conquered Naples after his victory against the last Angevin king, René, and Naples was unified with Sicily again for a brief period. Sicily and Naples were separated in 1458, 
but remained dependencies of Aragon under Ferdinand I. The new dynasty enhanced Naples' commercial standing by establishing relations with the Iberian Peninsula. Naples also became a center of the Renaissance, with artists such as Lorena, de Messina, Sanazaro and Poliziano arriving in the city. In 1501, Naples came under direct rule from France under Louis XII, with the Neapolitan King Frederick being taken as a prisoner to France, however, this state of affairs did not last long, as Spain won Naples from the French at the Battle of Garigliano in 1503. Following the Spanish victory, Naples became part of the Spanish Empire, and remained so throughout the Spanish Habsburg period. By the 17th century, Naples had become Europe's second largest city second only to Paris, and the largest European Mediterranean city, with around 250,000 inhabitants. In 1656, an outbreak of bubonic plague killed about half of Naples' 300,000 inhabitants. In 1714, Spanish rule over Naples came to an end as a result of the War of the Spanish Succession, the Austrian Charles VI ruled the city from Vienna through viceroys of his own. However, the War of the Polish Succession saw the Spanish regain Sicily and Naples as part of a personal union, with the 1738 Treaty of Vienna recognizing the two polities as independent under a cadet branch of the Spanish Bourbons. The Congress of Vienna in 1815 saw the kingdoms of Naples and Sicily combine to form the two Sicilies, with Naples as the capital city. In 1839, Naples became the first city on the Italian peninsula to have a railway, with the construction of the Naples Portici Railway. The economy of the area formerly known as the Two Sicilies declined, leading to an unprecedented wave of emigration, with an estimated 4 million people emigrating from the Naples area between 1876 and 1913. In the 40 years following unification, the population of Naples grew by only 26%, versus 63% for Turin and 103% for Milan. However, by 1884, Naples was still the largest city in Italy with 496,499 inhabitants, or roughly 64,000 per square kilometer. Public health conditions in certain areas of the city were poor, with 12 epidemics of cholera and typhoid fever causing the death of some 48,000 people in the half-century 1834-1884, and a high death rate of 31.84 per thousand even in the epidemic-free period 1878-1883. Then in 1884, Naples fell victim to a major cholera epidemic, caused largely by the city's poor sewerage infrastructure. Naples was the most bombed Italian city during World War II. Though Neapolitans did not rebel under Italian fascism, Naples was the first Italian city to rise up against German military occupation. The city was completely freed by October 1, 1943, when British and American forces entered the city. They also destroyed the city archives. Time bombs planted throughout the city continued to explode into November. Special funding from the Italian government's fund for the South was provided from 1950 to 1984, helping the Neapolitan economy to improve somewhat, with city landmarks such as the Piazza del Plebiscito being renovated. However, high unemployment continues to affect Naples. Italian media attributed the past city's waste disposal issues to the activity of the Camor organized crime network. In 2007, Silvio Berlusconi's government held senior meetings in Naples to demonstrate their intention to solve these problems. However, the late 2000s recession had a severe impact on the city, intensifying its waste management and unemployment problems. By August 2011, the number of unemployed in the Naples area had risen to 250,000, sparking public protests against the economic situation. In June 2012, allegations of blackmail, extortion and illicit contract tendering emerged in relation to the city's waste management issues. Naples hosted the 6th World Urban Forum in September 2012 and the 63rd International Astronautical Congress in October 2012.